Hey, this is a really quick video because some people have asked about how do I show multiple maps in a marker using the Google Maps without having to give your credit card for API. So I'm going to show you how you do that right now. By the way, I am using this in a different room. I'm not in my normal studio, hence why the microphone might not sound as crisp and you can't see my face. But hey, let's just get started. It's a really simple process. Go over to Google Maps and over here in the top left, if you click that, you're gonna get some options. The one you're interested in is your places. Now, when you do that, again, you're gonna get some further options pop up. Go over to maps. And this now will allow you to create your own map. So I've got a fake one over here, which I'm gonna kind of ignore. And I'm gonna go down here and click create map. You'll be presented with this screen. Now, the first thing it's gonna do is say untitled layer. It's not a bad idea to go in and rename this. Then I'm gonna to start to add in my first marker. Type in Glasgow and it has found it for me there. Now the key thing is to click add to map. You have now added that marker and you can see it over here. Now I'm gonna go in and add in another one. And again, I'll hit add to map and we'll just do a final one here. Ikea, Nottingham. Why did I do that? I don't know, I'm just showing you though we now have those options available. You can see that we have the markers listed out on the image. That's all pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is hit share. We're gonna go for embed on my site. Now, this is the warning you're gonna get. It's gonna say that this is currently a private map. Don't worry, go and hit change permissions. And I'm now gonna change the general access to be anyone with the link. Now we can do some more with this as well. So if I click on base map, I might wanna change the particular style of it. So you'd have it more as a satellite or, the, or as a dark outline. So there's many different styles. I'm just gonna go for this one here with a bit of orange and gray. Even though we changed this to say multiple maps, this still says untitled map at the top. So I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna rename that. One of the other things you can also do is modify the color of your marker. You can either click it up here and click on marker or click over here as well. So I'm gonna go and give this a bit of a purple color like that. And we can change the icon as well. Let's go for a hammer. Now I'm gonna to go to the option where we get to embed this. Click over here and then click embed on my site. Now you're probably gonna to get told that this map is not uh, public. You'll see the option for share. And there's two things you wanna do. Number one, you wanna let others search for and find this map. And number two, I would get rid of your name because I don't think that's important. Let's hit close. Now when we go back up over here and we hit embed on my site, we get the iframe. Copy all of that. Now I'm inside Elementor, but that is irrelevant as long as you've got somewhere on any WordPress website where you can drop HTML. I have a HTML widget here, and I'm now gonna drop in this little bit of code. I've changed the height just so that we can see Glasgow at the top there a bit better. So I've gone for 580. Now it's pretty obvious that the thing that's gonna annoy a lot of people is this bar that we have at the top. One of the ways you can get rid of this black bar, and it is a bit of a cheat way to do this, okay, is if you can get in a spacer or anything like that, uh, I'm going to set the spacer to be about uh, 58, it's about 58 pixels, okay? And you might need to adjust this for the mobile. What you want to do is go in, uh, give it a background color that kind of matches whatever is the background color of your page. Let's just go with a white here for now. And I'm then going to give this a higher Z index of about 999. And then I'm going to go over to my map and I'm just going to now hit a negative and way, it's now disappearing. That is the simplest way. I mean, I think I don't think I've got the measurements right, by the way, anyway. Look, you can see the map. You can see it's just showing over there. So let's just increase this spacer size, something like that. Um, this is though where you might want to go into your map. And I've currently got a height of 580. So let's just go and change that to be 620, something like that. There we go. And again, you could do a similar thing with a spacer at the bottom if you want to get rid of the word, uh, you know, this bit of a line over here with Google. I mean, that's not a complete showstopper, right? So you can modify and try and make this work for you. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. Have fun. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out.
out in a bag.